Okay, right. Good morning, everyone. Um, I've got uh, the level isn't there. Can you just someone message if you can hear me? Oh, that seems to be better. Yes, that's coming through. Okay. Um, there's a lot that I want to get through today. Um, and I've spoken, uh, I hope you can remember two weeks ago when we started. I hope you can remember that uh, what we did was we started by constructing ligands using Marvin Sketch. Is there a question? Okay. So uh, just please mute yourself. This is no question. Yeah. Was there a question? Okay, just wave or uh, message in the chat if there is a question. So Marvin Sketch is quite a powerful program. And I, once you've constructed a molecule, please always remember to add explicit hydrogens. Always make sure you've got explicit hydrogens. And in Marvin Sketch, don't remember, you don't forget that you've got these uh, calculations that you can do. You can search for isomers. Tautomers are really important. Uh, with this particular molecule here, with all the nitrogens, a search for tautomers is really important uh, because the tautomer I gave you in the task is not the correct tautomer, but Marvin Sketch can pick up the correct, uh, the lowest energy tautomer. Of course, if you want to be thorough, you would do molecular docking with all tautomers. Okay, so what I've done is I have saved it in the XYZ format. Um, I maybe just for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to save it as uh, in the Gaussian format, in the Gaussian input format, and I'm just going to give it a .com end to it. So you can see where I'm heading with this is that these constructed ligands are obviously going to be refined using a QM calculation. Okay, let me copy them across the cluster um, in the cluster and on the cluster, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just go up a level uh, and I'm going to create a new directory and this is uh, the last day of work. Okay, so in last day, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all the ligands that I've created across onto carbon. Okay, so please, uh, if you've Make sure that you're able to access carbon. Uh, and I see uh, a couple of extras have joined us uh, and I might not have given you an account on carbon. So please just email me and remind me um, to give you an account on carbon. And of course, I'll just remind you how you connect to carbon. Of course, to copy things across, you use the program WinSCP. Okay, and of course, and when ACP, the, the, we go to carbon dot ru ac dot za. And of course, you type in the username that I've given you in the password and you log in. I'm not going to log in with the new one. Uh, but then the window will look like this. And this is your local machine where you save the Marvin Sketch leggings. And this is on carbon where you now copy them across. Okay, that's how to copy them across. But of course, we need to use to actually get things to happen. And so what I want to do is I want to get some high quality ligands. I don't really have time to do a Gaussian run, uh, but because you have to wait for results overnight, but maybe I can get it running uh, so long. So maybe I can get it running uh, so long. Okay. So if I do an LS, I can see that uh, the folder's last day over there, and I'm going to change directory to that folder there, and I LS, and I'll see them again. Oh, uh, one thing I didn't do, one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to edit the com file before I copied it across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use WinSCP to edit it, if it's on the local machine, you can use Notepad++, but if it's already copied to the cluster, you can just right click and go edit. And of course, what I want at the top, what I want at the top is uh, sent in proc 
shared is equal to eight, and percent mem is equal to six gigabytes. And let's have a checkpoint file, percent chk, and let's give it the name uh, five rec weekend.check. Okay. And of course, this is, has an opt and it's B3LYP, but maybe we also, this is fine, you can leave that in, but I'm taking it out. Um, I'm also going to have a freak. So I'm going to ask it to do an opt in a freak, and I'm not going to use it, ask it to, to work in a solvent. Okay. So this is fine, and I can save that. I have edited the top of the comp file so it'll run on the system. Okay. And it has been completed, so it's now all good to go. Okay, so for that com file, uh, we would need to run that com file uh, using Gaussian. And so we need to add the module for Gaussian. And if you add the module for Gaussian, then we can sub GO9. Uh, I'll do the Dell. Maybe the Dell is uh, busy, but we'll I'll try and see. And then the name of the com file is Fabric Ligand. And I'm going to use eight processes for that. And if I do QSTAT, uh, there it is. There's a lot running on the batch queue at the moment. So the Dell queue uh, is over there. Okay. If, if it gets really, really busy, um, I will slow down the Dell queue. Um, I will delete my jobs so that your jobs can run on the Dell queue. Okay. So, right. Now, but of course, I've got a lot of... Uh, XYZ files here. So you can see I've got five rec ligand.xyz. So I could do a very quick optimization. Let's add the module for uh, XTB. And so I can go XTB. And here's the XYZ file opt. Okay. And that's a very quick optimization. Uh, at a semi-empirical level, a modern semi-empirical level, and it's created the XTB opt over there. So, of course, if I run XTB again, this will be overwritten by the new file. So let's, um, I've just, I know it is from 5 rec ligand, so let's just do Babel, and just quickly convert that XYZ that's been created, and XT, XTB opt dot XYZ, um, and I've put it as a PDB file, and it is 5 rec uh, uh, ligand from XTB dot uh, PDB. Okay. So, right. So, I've got a high-quality ligand that is ready to be redocked now to 5 rec. Okay. Can we do the same thing uh, with, uh, what's the next one? Is 5REY. I'll do the same thing with 5REY and optimize it with XTB. It's a little bit bigger, so it'll take a bit longer. Um, and there it is. XTB opt now is from 5REY. And so when I do the Babel, it's to 5REY that has been, that we, we've just done. So I'm converting the current opt that we've gone to 5REY. Okay, let's do the same thing with 5RFE. Press the up arrow to get 5RFE. Okay. And now uh, 5RFE is the ligand that is from XTB opt. Okay, let's see what we've else we've got. Um, RFT. Uh, RFT is the next one. Okay. Uh, ah, uh, there's a problem. Sorry, my problem is I'm going to have to redo some of these. My problem is, can you see this warning? A dimension mismatch in restart file. Please can I ask you to just remove this XTB restart before you do anything. You just remove that XTB restart. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go back and redo. So we did 5REC was fine. 
5 uh, REY. I want to just redo 5 REY. That's better. Okay, that's fantastic. 5 REY has been redone. And then I'm going to create the 5 REY. Here we go. I'm just going to remove the XTB restart. Just please always look for error messages in these things. It's so easy to miss. Um, and then we've done 5 REY. Um, let's see what other XTB we haven't done. 5 RFE is the one I want to do now. There we go, no error messages from 5 RFE. So I'm going to just uh, remove the XTB restart. And we did 5 RFE. I need to convert it now uh, to 5 RFE, sorry. Uh, table minus I, X, Y, Z, XTB, e, e. To be opt dot x y z minus o equal b and five r f e and x t b dot and p to b okay uh, minus o p to b x y z x y s yeah okay okay uh, so we've done five r f e now it's five r f t so five r f t Of RFT. There we go, no error messages. And so now five uh, RFT. Okay. Um, and I just need to remove that XTV restart so I don't get right. And then the final one that I want to do is XTB as six WNP ligand. Uh, not. And this is a large ligand, and you can tell it's working because it's taking a long time. Okay, perfect. And we've got that. Um, and then, of course, what we're going to do, I'll just remove the XTB restart so it doesn't cause problems later on. And I'm going to do Babel. Minus I X Y Z X T B opt X Y Z minus O P D B and six W N P ligand X T B dot P D B. Okay. So what I now have available to me, what I have available to me is um, a whole lot of high quality ligands. Of course, the Gaussian run that I had on the go is not going to, uh, it's going to carry on running. See, there's a checkpoint file, there's the log files coming through. It's going to take a long time for that to, uh, to complete. So I'm not going to worry about the DF density functional theory calculation. Besides, um, I would like to be consistent with my docking. So um, when I write my paper, I don't say that one ligand was uh, optimized in Gaussian and the other in XTB and another using, uh, I don't know, Psi 3. Um, you don't, uh, you rather rather keep it consistent in your study. You choose one or the other and stick with it. Okay. Right. So I do have um, some high quality ligands. I'll just copy them locally to my machine uh, because these are, they will be helpful if I can work uh, in Autodoc tools. Okay, now let's let's try and uh, work with that. So if I go to um, uh, Autodoc tools now, I can get all of those. Okay, I will register. Okay, so uh, first thing I do here is file uh, preferences set. And I just want to set it to the current directory where I've got all my ligands in. So I'm just changing that to, okay. 
Um, let's see. So at the moment, I'm working in this ligands folder. Okay. Let's see. And let's see. So input, open. I don't see it here because it's a PDB file. There we go. And let's start with 5 REC ligand. Okay. And I'm going to file, output, save it as a PDBT. Okay. That's fine. You can explore other things. I'm happy with the default that's set. You can go uh, torsion tree and choose torsions. And you can see on the green, those are where the torsions are. You could unselect them and remove a few, but I'm absolutely happy with what we've, we've got there. I'm just going to uh, delete this because I want to work my way uh, through all of my ligands. So let's find the next PDB. Uh, so the five REY ligand. There we go. Okay. And what I want to do, output, save as PDBT. Particularly with the five REY one ligand, I hope in Marvin's sketch that you've done a confirmational search. It's very important that you do a confirmational search in Marvin's sketch after you're constructing it. Okay. Right. So I've sorted that ligand. Um, uh, input, open, let's do the next one. Uh, five RFP ligand. Okay. And file output, save as PDQT. So there we go. Uh, and ligand, input, open. Uh, PDB. Uh, have we done five RFT? No. Ligand output service PVQT. Okay, so I've actually done four of the five ligands, and I'm intentionally only going to do four of the five, prepare four of the five ligands, and I'm going to conveniently forget to do the fifth one and have to do it on the cluster and sort that one out on the cluster. Okay. Right, so um, I'm almost prepared now uh, for molecular doctrine. Okay, right, now we have a problem. And the problem is that um, I would like to uh, get some uh, uh, proteins. And so I need to remind myself what the proteins are. Of course, I know from the names of the ligands that we read up, but I've tried to match them to the names of the proteins. But let's maybe just go quickly now to um, RCSB. Okay, and of course, what we can do is we can get those proteins fresh. I'm just doing this to remind you uh, of what's of how we've been through all of this. And so the uh, first one is five REC. Okay, uh, here it is. We've got download files, PDB format, and you can save save it. And I'm going to save in the same folder I'm working in now. This is 5REC. Uh, we've got 6WNP. Okay. Um, and here we, it's right, download files. We have the correct place to download the files. Okay. Uh, we've got 5RFT. Okay. Okay, uh, we've got uh, five REY. Okay, okay, and um, what else have we got? Five RFE and Okay, and so that uh, there is um, all of the proteins. One final thing before I want to, before I do anything is I just remind you that we can work with ligands from zinc.document.org. Um, and so I'm going to just try and get a hundred ligands quickly now. And so if I just construct, um, I need a seven-membered ring. 
uh, I need two nitrogens on that seven member ring. So I'm going to put them over at those two positions. And um, on the one seven member ring, uh, we need to um, have an aromatic system attached to it. Here we go. And uh, maybe um, the author position, we, we have it substituted. And this is the 5REY. It's like the 5REY. And what I want to do is just see if we can't get a thing, and some compounds that are different to this one and that we can now test against this particular uh, COVID main protease receptor. Okay. And so I'm just going to go, um, uh, let's uh, go all subsets. Although we are only going to get 100 results, um, it's only going to show us, there's so many results, it'll only show us 100. And I'll do substructure. Okay. And some days it's a lot faster than others, maybe it's a, a busy time. But I do hope that we will be able to at least get a compound. Uh, okay, uh, maybe, uh, here, here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I've done. Let me go back. Um, I'll click on these spars to make it update. And search with. I'm sure I did substructure. Have I got a right structure? Yes, I have the right. No, I don't have a right structure. My apologies. And this should be a carbon. Um, and these need to delete. Uh, um, I had the nitrogens too close to each other. There we go. That's better. That would have been an interesting uh, analog to uh, work with if there had been some results coming through because it's slightly different to the original. Um, and there we've got uh, the first hundred hits in the entire Zinc database because they're just too many that come through. And I'm going to download that as an SDF file. Just give it a moment. Um, remember that this there are billions of compounds in this database. So uh, just um, the fact that we can search and get a hundred hits is absolutely incredible. Okay, save. So I'm just going to call this. These are the analogs. Okay, as an SDF. Okay. So I have a lot uh, to work with at the moment. Um, um, just quickly in Autodoc tools, um, I'm going to maybe uh, uh, just uh, delete that. And let's just work with one of the proteins. Let's work with 5-REC. And uh, with 5-REC, there it is. And uh, you can click and drag to rotate around to see what it looks like. I'm going to quickly edit um, and delete waters from it. Um, let's expand it and find the uh, protein, uh, the, the uh, unwanted, there's a DMSO in that. So I'm just going to select the DMSOs and I'm going to edit and delete, uh, delete uh, selected atoms. Okay. And of course, here's the co-crystallized ligand, T1J. So this is the co-crystallized ligand uh, for, uh, for 5-REC. So uh, co 5-REC's co-crystallized ligand is so over here, it's selected. And so I can go file, save, write PDB. And that is the co-crystallized ligand. Okay. Okay, so that is now saved. 
And what I can do then is edit, uh, delete, delete selected atoms, continue. And then I'm going to file with what's left. There are no lichens down this protein. So I can write this protein as an apoPBD. Okay, so it's fabric apo. I'll just do one other one because uh, time is of the essence. So I'll just do uh, one other of the proteins. And we can, let's just uh, uh, delete molecule. Delete. And uh, it's open. And I'll do 5 REY. We expand it. So it's 5 REY. We go down and let's go edit and uh, delete water. So we don't have waters. Okay. And my apologies. I shouldn't have expanded while deleting water. Okay. And um, edit. Uh, okay. It's, I can't scroll up because the waters that were showing are now del deleted. So let's go uh, edit, uh, delete, delete all molecules, continue. Right, let's open 5-R-E-Y again. Uh, okay, uh, I've killed my workspace, so I'm gonna open Autodoc tools again. I should not have expanded the waters um, because the moment I deleted them, they're no longer available to scroll through. <laughs> And so it's giving errors, so I shouldn't do that. So what I'm going to do, I won't sit, because I'm not doing docking now, I'm not going to sit, I just want to move fast uh, through this. Uh, so, um, so 5 REY, here it is. Edit, uh, delete water before I expand. And now when I expand, um, I can uh, find and the DMSOs and edit, delete, and delete selected atoms. And here's the uh, co crystallized ligand. Let's just show it. Um, uh, and we've got 10 minutes left. Let's see if we can at least get one docking on the go. There we go. There's the co crystallized ligand um, over there. So I'm going to file and save and write PDB and this is 5 REY else, and because I haven't set the place it's 5 REY and co-crystallized. Okay. Okay and then let's just um, edit Delete, delete selected atoms, continue, and that's now sorted. Okay, and then the final thing that I want to do is file, save, write PDB, and it's 5 REY APO. I just, because I haven't set the place, because I'm rushing, I'll set it as 5 REY APO. Okay, right. So I've now prepared, uh, I've got two proteins that are, are ready to go. And um, I'm just gonna copy all of that now back to the cluster and let's see what we can do on the cluster with all of that. I'll just... I'm just dumping the whole lot of data across on that side. If we can decide what we can um, work with. Okay, well, let's copying. Let's um, just see where we're at. Um, you can see that there are um, all of this is coming across. But of course, what we've got to do is we've got to do module add Autodoc in gel tools. And we also need uh, not just the Autodoc tools, but we need Autodoc itself. 
and VNet itself. So add both of those modules to get access to both of those. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I know that this here is a mixture of conformers of the protein. So I want to do prepare PDB uh, and the receptor is that 5-REC APO. I just want to split it, return those two confirmations and I also want to do prepare uh, PDB uh, and also the 5-REY APO is two confirmations, so I would like to split that um, into two confirmations. And so what we will have is an A and a B confirmation, and so we won't get errors uh, when we work with it. So we can now easily work with that A and B, that A confirmation for five, and that A confirmation. If I copy it back here, right, then we can work with both of those A confirmations um, in Autodoc tools. Okay. Meanwhile, <clears throat> what I'd like to do is, I uh, know I've got all the ligands sorted out except for the last one. And so I'd like to prepare that ligand. So prepare, prepare a ligand for PY minus L, that ligand. And now that ligand is beautifully as sorted. Okay. Uh, we've, ligands are all as PDBQTs, but of course the proteins are not necessarily as PDBQTs. Let's maybe make a couple of a PDBQT using Autodoc tools and a PDBQT using the, um, using the cluster. So I'll, I'll make 5REY as a PDBQT quickly now. And so I have file references set. I think I should do this because it makes life so much easier. And receptors, ligands, okay. Right, so let's just read our uh, APO A that I've just created now from the cluster. I can now sort it, I can edit uh, 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 hydrogens, add, I'm just going to add polar only and edit uh, charges, complete gas to go, and, and edit uh, atoms, atoms, assign 84 type, and file, save it, write as PDBQT. Okay, so now I have got uh, that one as a PDBQT. So where is that? 5-R-E-Y um, APO. 5-R-E-Y APO P3Q-T, just this. No, 5-R-E-C APO, 5-R-E-C, it's right at the bottom. Here we go. So I'm going to copy it across. But on the cluster, I can create that P3Q-T. On that cluster, I can do a prepare, a receptor, uh, four to PY minus R. Uh, it's five. The one we haven't done is five R E Y. Okay, and we just need to remember uh, all all that we need to do. And uh, so maybe what I won't do, I won't do all that yet. I'll just put it uh, like that, and then do minus uh, five R E Y. Uh, APO A to PDB, and then this is just to remind me, and so we do minus U waters, minus E true, and minus A hydro. Okay. Okay, and so I have a protein PDBQT that I've created on my laptop. I've got a protein uh, PDB QT that I created on the cluster. You can do it either way. What's important is that we have both of them now ready to uh, for molecular docking. Okay, uh, the meeting is normally almost timing out. So what we'll do is we'll meet in 10 minutes time and I will do quick docking and quick analysis now on a couple of those. But I hope you can see how 
uh, within a project, you can work efficiently and you can, you can get a lot of work done uh, just by uh, repeating. Okay, so let's meet in, uh, in 10 minutes time.